All right, what up, y'all? Your boy Brick Street Sprite in the building, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hoolie Vision. Um, first off, man, I wanted to talk about Drink Champs, man. And just, I was watching the other day with Mickey Fax on, and I heard them basically dog like some of the, some of the, some of the, Wu Tang affiliates and call them flunkies. You know what I'm saying? And I just all I wanted to say is that Nori and Effin, I'm not surprised Effin doesn't know shit because he's a fucking cornball. But Nori, come on, bro. And when I watch your show, it's obvious that you're not the hip hop historian that you think you are. Because just because you're from New York doesn't mean that you know everything about hip hop, bro. You way off about a lot of shit and you be way out of line. Talking about Sons of Man and talking about, uh, and oh boy, what did Effin chime in talking about Shaheem? You talking about the dude that was on stage with Big and Pac, bruh. For real, for real. At 14, 13 years old, spitting freestyles. Was around the clan, making albums. Was a prodigy of all those dudes. You know what I'm saying? And put in mad work for the W, bruh. But you calling him a flunky, so you don't know your history. Obviously. You know what I'm saying? And, uh. It just is what it is, man. But I uh, just can't respect that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of uh, stupid ass. Like, don't talk, don't don't speak on it if you don't know, bro. And if that's your opinion, then fine. But don't backtrack. Effin was backtracking on Instagram on on Shaheem shit, and Shaheem just kept the same energy. Like, fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up. But they wasn't nobody's flunkies, bro. That's true. And I've got to ride with Shaheem on this one. Because Sons of Man, you know what I'm saying? Hellraiser, uh, uh, Prodigal Son, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Killer Priest, bruh. Fire, fire. Priest probably being the most fire out of all of them. Uh, Shabazz the Disciple, like, come on, bruh. Shabazz the Fourth Disciple, shit crazy, yo. Ninth Prince, bro. Uh, bruh. Kill Army, bro. Like, come on, man. Killer Army was crazy as fuck. Like, <laughs> Shaheem obviously was fired. That that furious anger shit with Big L. Like, come on, man. Like, how? <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. But anyway, that was just a dumbass comment, and I could see why Shaheem got mad about that shit because they was completely wrong about that shit. Completely. Bro, the Wu Syndicate, like, bro, so many uh, grave diggers, like, come on, man. So many fire-ass writers, fire-ass rappers, spitters, producers, you know what I'm saying? True master, uh, a law of mathematics, bro. Those are so-called flunkies, bro. Nah, bro, none of them are flunkies. The only flunky out of that whole camp is fucking Silver Rings fucking dick riding ass. You know what I'm saying? But anyway... I just wanted to address that real quick. And also I wanted to just quickly speak on because it's within the realm of battle rap and hip hop is King Los defending Brother Polite. I don't speak on Brother Polite much or the conscious community because for one, uh, it just doesn't really interest me much to be honest, you know what I'm saying? Like I can find too many holes within a lot of their, and it's not even about that, it's about, it's about some of the morals and some of these dudes stand on and some of the uh, some of the people that they that they that they connect themselves attach themselves to you know what I'm saying and the and the uh, and the uh, you know suspect behavior of a lot of these dudes but brother polite bro has been has had a history of like losing his child back in like 2014 having some child one of his like his daughter taken away from him she was only eight for something similar. He like married. Uh, he like got together with a chick when she was 16, and he was he was a grown ass adult. Like where there's smoke, there's fire. First of all, and when there's DNA, how can you defend that? It's just obvious that you being a friend with with brother polite King Los makes it impossible for you. I guess that this dude has brainwashed you so much and got you so hooked to his doctrine that you and whatever science he be, been speaking to you, whatever science you think that he's been speaking that has been correct to you anyway and that you vibe with has you envisioning him as someone that can do no wrong you know what i'm saying obviously and that's why 
by not taking a side, you say that I take the side of the truth and you say I'm not taking a side, but by your words and your comparisons, you're taking a side, bro. You talking about Britney Spears who was a victim, dog, who was a victim not only of MK Ultra, but you act like she wasn't like run through the ringer, bro, by by media and by by publications and by paparazzi that was driving her nuts and her handlers were basically trying to keep quiet that she was her her MK Ultra fucking programming was malfunctioning, you know what I'm saying? Like straight up. Like <laughs> y'all you basically comparing you you made an analogy and a comparison between a victim and a motherfucking and a motherfucking assailant, dog. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that victimized someone else. They found four spots of DNA, bro. His cum on the 14-year-old. His girlfriend's, his girl's daughter, dog. And by the words you were saying, you say you wasn't taking the side, but all you got to do is listen to the interview. He was taking, he was obviously taking Brother Polite's side. You know what I'm saying? And defending him. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And... If you don't want to take a side, then just don't speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. But you just sounded hella ignorant. That's all I wanted to say. King Los is somebody that he, he calls other people intellectually arrogant. But he's the most intellectually arrogant person that I've ever seen. Like, he thinks he's the smartest dude in the room everywhere he goes. Just because he knows how to use a few big words. And he misuses big words a lot, too. He's not as smart as he thinks. You know what I'm saying? But just the fact that... You can't see through like certain people's obvious fucking bullshit banter and race baiting. You know what I mean? And and <laughs> the race hustling that motherfuckers do. Then you are uh you're just you're 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 not as smart as you think, man. You know what I mean? And that's all I wanted to say about it is that King Los was completely wrong. And the reason people aren't talking about it is because he's basically a nobody in the music biz anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not like, yeah, he's a good lyricist, but he hasn't met none of his potential ever. You know what I'm saying? But uh, how you going to be like, now, we ain't even going to get into that. He was just wrong, bro, for the shit he was saying. And you taking the pedophile side, bro. And you talking about people get angry when you bring up Europeans and when you bring up this and that. No, nah, people get angry and furious because you're defending, you're defending a monster and defending somebody that's a pedophile, bro. You know what I mean? So... That's all I got to say on the matter, man. I'll be back with some other shit soon. It's your boy, Brick Street Sprite. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision, and I'm out of here. 100.